what is up guys my name is Vanish Girl and first of all I'm just gonna say I'm developing cold so my voice is gonna sound a little sketchy and uh, another thing is that I got Minecraft and I just want to show you this funny photo that I I came across yesterday yeah this sheep is just standing on lava and I, I don't know I thought that was cool but uh, I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on the effect the scope effect that I used in the whole like in every single shot in the in the Revos edit so as you can see the, the the scope there and I'm also gonna go over that little streak like you saw on the left uh, here it is that thing so yeah let's just go over this quickly okay so let's hop into After Effects wait I'm recording right okay good hop into After Effects whoopsies just have a clip drag it into your main comp drag it into a comp there we go okay zoom in a bit I'm just gonna put this on half Okay, then I'm going to show you guys, oh, it doesn't look as nice with dual band, but whatever. I'm just going to show you guys how to um, do the particle ring. Really easy. Drag it in. Blend mode to add. Uh, zoom in a little bit. Line that up perfectly. Okay, and then you can type in CC Tona. CC Tona. And just change the colors off. I'm going to do a nice vibrant orange. There we go. And then I drop the highlights to the mid-tones. Okay, then what you can do is drag on a glow. Okay, and just change the settings to your preferences, whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna find the spot where he uh, gets out of his scope. So I'm gonna hit Shift One for the beginning and I'll find where he gets out. So that's uh, right here. So then I'm gonna hit Control Alt T, and I'm just gonna drag this uh, the end keyframe over a bit so it rotates a lot faster so i'm going to put it here i'm not going to put it at the very very beginning because uh, it's only like six frames that he scoped in for so yeah okay so i'm just gonna leave it like that and i'm just gonna go to two and alt click and there we go okay so i got that down now to do the street light effect i'm just going to use it right here okay so he's about to zoom in i'm going to split the layer control shift d Actually, I could do that, but for some reason Contagia doesn't let me, so I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate the layer. Alt left bracket to trim it, and then Alt right bracket to trim the bottom one. And I'm just going to drag on Twixter. Okay, drag that onto the clip Twixter Pro, which is preferences. Preference, sorry. And just go here and check the FPS on your clip. So it's 59.94. So I'm going to use that 59.940. Okay, image prep, uh, con contrast, let's edge, enhance, and then in warp in, inverse, or smart blend, and then put speed, uh, go over one keyframe, keyframe the speed, go over another keyframe to go back to where we originally were, and make it something like 10 or something, and then go over uh, 40 or 50 frames up to you, hit you, make the keyframe, and then go over frame, and make it 100 or whatever. Okay. And there we go. So I'm just going to keep this open. And I'm actually going to put Shift 1 and Shift 2 there. Okay, so Shift 1, I want the effect to start here. Whoopsie. And Shift 2, I want the effect to start there. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in on this. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now what you can do is go into your Light Street effect that you imported. So it's a, I'll have the download, download link in the description for the particle ring, as well as the Light Streak effect. And uh, yeah, so I just open the folder up, go to comp one, go to comp one. Okay, there we go. Delete the background because I don't need that. And control C, all of this, bring it into here. So hit one, control V, and drag it over to line up. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, for some reason it looked really weird, but whatever. Oh, I know why. Okay, you gotta move it first. Okay, so what we wanna do is go to Particular, go to Particles, uh, go to Particle in Particular, and make the life to 2.5, and at birth color to whatever color you want. I like a light blue, that's nice. Okay, then I linked it to the null object already, so hit P on position. And if you guys hear my dog barking, I want to kill her as well, okay? Don't worry. So just drag this forward a bit. 
So drag it right towards you and then drag it to the left or whatever. Okay, as you can tell, it's got these weird circles. That's just the particles zoomed up. And once you drag the effect over, it will uh, make a streak like, hey, one second, I'm just gonna tell my dog to screw off. Okay, I'm back. I took care of my dog and she is in her cage where she belongs. Just joking, but I, uh, I put her outside. So um, what you wanna do now is just go to your particular layer and I found out that 2.5 is really gross, so I'm actually going to change this back to like 1.5. And then you can change the particle type streak like to something you want, like sphere. And I pronounced that weird purposely. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to streak like for now because I like it. And I'm going to go over 10 keyframes. And then I'm just going to make the position. Uh, I'm going to drag it down a bit and down like that. And then go over 10 keyframes, and as you can tell, it connects the dots, kind of. Oh my god, who let the dog inside? Okay, whatever. I'm continuing, I don't care. And I'm just going to drag it up. And go over 10 again. Drag it further back. Drag it down. And then go over 10 again. Drag it further back. Shut up, Keshi. And there you go. And then just trim this whole thing. Oh, that didn't work out. Uh, control up, alt down, control up, alt right. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you just trim everything. And as you can tell, we have the street like effect. A few things to make it look nicer is go to a particular layer. And you actually, I just remember now, you want to have a dark color. Okay, to make. Whoa, what happened there? Okay, you gotta have it dark. And you have to turn the opacity down a bit, like 80. There we go. Okay, so obviously it's not as nice looking as the one in this video because I obviously messed with the settings a lot and I don't even remember what I did. Because I don't know about you, but. One second. Yeah, that, that street like looks a lot nicer than the one I'm working on right now. But I don't know, you guys can change the colors yourself a bit. And yeah, it looks it looks alright, I guess. So that's how you guys do the streak light effect. I'm gonna have download links in the description on the streak light as well as the particle ring. And as you guys can tell, my internet is not working, so I might not have this tutorial up just in the moment, but hopefully I'll get it up soon. So yeah, that's about it guys. Thank you guys for so much support lately, and um yeah, see you guys later. Bye. Bye-bye.